koop. E-fucking HTTS. Schuma hekje AF het hekje dollar hekje dakje. Look at our T som bed on T is een chic cute when she's being a boomer towards TTS. Hello, hello. <laughs> Thanks for all the cheers, guys. I'm actually surprised Dutch TTS knows what a boomer is because it didn't say boomer, it said boomer. <laughs> Apparently, that's one of the words they actually taught the, you know, voice to say. <laughs> Hello, everyone. How are y'all doing? Hope you're having a good evening or day, depending on your time zone. Hope you're all doing good. Yeah, are y'all doing good? I hope so. I hope so. Oh, George, now I'm, now I'm, I'm wondering if did I spell knife wrong in my title? <laughs> no, it looks, looks all right. Um, I think. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello. How are y'all doing? How are y'all doing? Good, I, I assume, I hope, yeah. I'm, I'm alright as well. I am uh, enjoying some cappuccino. I uh, am so relieved and glad that I bought this a few weeks ago. Because, oh my god, is it delicious. <laughs> I feel so Gucci. I feel so Gucci with this. It's like I'm uh, at my own like cafe at home or something. What brand is it? Well, that's a good question. I, I have to take a look at it because I don't remember. <laughs> It was, um, I, I selected it based on the specifications, not necessarily the brand name. Um, it's mystery brand, yeah, it's, um... <laughs> you know how, like, in an anime and manga, they often obscure things using objects? That's probably what happened to me, and, um, it was, the name was being blocked by my very big coffee cup. <laughs> Lavaza makes also equipment. I did not know that, actually, but I do have their coffee brand. It's very good. Thank you for the follow, FOB minus FO, F of A, thank you. And thank you for the cheers, Obscuria and Davis and Moriko. And and thank you for subscribing, by the way, Moriko and, and Liz, thank you so much, thank you so much. I, I will nya at you again. Nya, nya nya. Oh, thank you so much as well, Bodega, thank you. Oh, I mean, Obscuria, thank you, I, I keep reading this wrong. <laughs> But I'm, I'm, thank you so much for, for, for gifting Obscuria and I hope you enjoy Bodega. Yeah, it's cause, it's cause it, it, it highlights the wrong part, I suppose. And I, uh, I, I, maybe I should put on my glasses. That might help. Hold on. Let me, uh, let me, let me put on my, uh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> maybe, maybe this will help me out for tonight. But I always, I always like to put my hair up as well when I wear glasses cause I actually do have them. I, 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 I don't really wear them, but I do have them. <laughs> I'm kind of like my brother in that sense. Because um, I, we all figured out he had glasses literally 10 years after he first had them prescribed. Because he never wears them. And I also really don't. <laughs> Librarian Nina Activate. Yes, I am going to... I'm going to get into the role of, you know, very serious, very serious lady. Because we have a very serious stream tonight. I will be knifing my way through a very game, like, dear game to me, so... <laughs> I don't know if this will help me, but at least I will feel cool. <laughs> Do not hello, Obscuria, thank you for gifting again, thank you! Yeah, thank you so much! Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, I, to be honest, when I was young, I did always look at the librarian ladies in my uh like hometown and i was thinking wow i would love to be like them one day <laughs> i like books 
I don't know, I didn't really know what else they did, but I like books, so... <laughs> but then I realized it's actually really hard work, because there's way more than just books, you know, to sort and to check people in and out. There's way more involved. So <laughs> but it's very hard to get a job in there, too. That I also learned later. Hmm... But yeah, I guess I'm happy where I am as well, so I can't complain. I can't complain too much. Hello, Piroshnikov. Cute croissants. Yeah, croissants are very nice, I do agree. <laughs> glad you like it, Rivermans. I'm glad you like it. I kind of like when glasses have like, you know, funny little colors and stuff. Not necessarily, you know, black frames. I like also the, the translucent frames are very cool, very cool. I was actually thinking of getting those as well for myself, like the round ones. <laughs> Nux Strike, welcome. Em Emlicious, welcome too. And Raimi's, welcome, welcome, welcome. And Marcus, thank you for subscribing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you have clear frames right now. Ooh, I'm jealous. I am so jealous. They look so cool. I was destined to work as a mailman. Well, Carve, you do know I did actually work as a mail mailman. <laughs> male woman <laughs> for my first year when i was going to university um it became a little bit hard to do since i didn't actually live at where i was delivering <laughs> so i i couldn't i couldn't really do it anymore so but it was it was fun i got lost all the time despite i literally lived in that place <laughs> yeah. it was not very doable so i i kind of kind of had to you know, I had to move out. I went to dorms, so I couldn't mailman anymore. I couldn't. I couldn't. It wasn't possible. <laughs> it was. It was kind of fun though, because I kind of. I kind of liked being paid to just walk around, because that's kind of what it felt like. Um, but yeah, it, it is hard work though. You don't get. You don't get reimbursed for all the work you actually put in. It's like uh, they always told me, yeah, it's gonna take you like maybe two hours max to do the, you know, the round. But in practice, it took me like four. Um, so I don't know how they timed that. I, I guess they had a guy on the motorcycle doing it and they were like, yeah, well, Fred literally threw all the, the, the mail at the door while still on the bike and he did it in that amount of time. Why can't you on your little bike? <laughs> well, I couldn't. So that uh, was fun while it lasted. <laughs> And hello, Sir McPug. Glad you like my glasses. Ponycron, thank you for subscribing. Yeah. I did not chew on the letters. I did not. There was a, there were a few, there were there were a few incidents though while I was there. The very short time I was there. Um, for example, there was one one person who got caught throwing the mail into the river because <laughs> he got lazy. <laughs> Apparently, apparently he wanted to go to a concert and, um, you know, delivering mail kind of takes time. So he thought, why not just get rid of the evidence? <laughs> and it was not very hard to find out because it was literally clogging the stream. So everyone could see it. <laughs> yeah, it was, it's actually very, it's not, it's not a small thing, you know, like I think it's even a felony or something. Um, I don't know what happened to that person, but um, that was not very smart. <laughs> maybe try to see if it can float. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe he took the, you know, paper boat thing a bit too literally. Yeah, <laughs> I've, it was never seen again. <laughs> The, the male people took care of him. He made an example. <laughs> Aries, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you. Sub submarine male. Oh my god, the puns. The male puns. Too strong, guys. <laughs> the male mafia. <laughs> oh, we, we joke, but male is a serious thing. I think in the States, it's even more of a serious thing. There's, um... Yeah, isn't it like some seriously protected thing? Because, you know, if you can't get your your documents safe, then uh, it's a big problem. They will hunt you down hard. Yeah, there you go. There it goes. It's not a, it's not a trifle matter at all. <laughs> Federal crime. Oh, my God. So what what happens if you just open like your neighbor's mail by mistake, for example? Like it, it had the wrong address on it. Can you go to jail? <laughs> 
Well, that'll be quite spooky, but I'm fairly sure they will use a little bit of common sense and that kind of thing, right? It's not like, freeze, you open the mail of your neighbor. <laughs> 10 years in jail for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, intent. Yeah, that has to be. Has to be. Has to be. I've opened the wrong mail so many times because it had my name on it, but the wrong address, for example. Oh, like the other way around. My address, but the wrong name. So I was like, ah. I only looked at the address, I was like, oh, that's mine. <laughs> it wasn't. Uh, the, the funniest occurrence was um, um, not that long ago, I got like some kind of boomer magazine where it even had like an instruction on what are, what is streaming, how to, how to set up your, your Netflix, you know, those kind of articles. <laughs> I was like, wow, well, at least they're trying to learn about it, but it's kind of funny they have a whole magazine dedicated to this kind of topic. <laughs> oh, second dawn, you live very dangerously, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that that collection. Oh, that was probably a very bad surprise, Verdi. What is it? What is a pog champ? Here is a five-page essay on what pog champ is and why it, it's a danger to society. Hmm, <laughs> kinda, kinda, kinda. Do I ever get lazy and not braid my hair and just go ponytail? Oh yeah, I do that. I do it quite often. I do it quite often. Um, I like braids, but I don't always feel like doing that. And I also just wear it like loose, but I kind of feel like it gets in the way. So I, I do prefer to put it up nowadays, yeah. Whether or not it's with a braid or not, it's uh, as long as it's up, it's up. <laughs> Privately organized ga gang. Is that like one of those backronyms? What do you call those things? <laughs> Mm. Oh, they never changed her dress. Yeah, that's annoying. That's so annoying. But I have to admit, I have always, I have also, at one point, I think, for one particular thing, forgot to change my dress, and <laughs> and and that person took the time to just bring it, you know, bring it back to the post office to get it redone. <laughs> I would have been probably just thinking, hmm. How important is this? Should I just, you know, just let it be? <laughs> Sounds embarrassing. Yeah, it's kind of like if you get so much mail, you kind of lose track of what, what you know, like I, I do at least. There's so much stuff I don't really think about. So if they don't send me letters, I, I kind of forget about them. <laughs> but yeah, oh, I should not forget about my cappuccino though. I was so, I was so happy about it. Now I just let it sit there. Mm. Thankfully, they don't cool down so fast, and uh, it's also cold enough now that it doesn't burn my mouth anymore. <laughs> I always burn my mouth on everything. <laughs>